You're right people, Chaos here, bringing another tips and tricks video. I've had a couple people ask me how I do my outro. Now, I'm going to show you how I do it in Sony Vegas. Um, obviously, I do the actual image in Photoshop. So I can do that in a later video if you wish, how I've done it. But this is showing you how I put it into my video and have the actual gameplay so you can click on it go to the previous video or next video and all that so all you've got to do is obviously import your image work and everything into sony vegas so you go file import media then select whichever outro you want so i've got a couple previous outros i used to use quite a bit so i've got themed ones like battlefield one so on and so forth i just keep them in storage just in case i want to use them but anyway Got it here. So, say for example, I want my outro about 20 seconds long. Previews out. I got a video now that I want to use in my outro. If I click, drag it, and put it above, okay, the actual. Oh, it'll set it to that. So, it'll set it to 1080p 30fps, whatever you've set that video to. Now, if you see here, it is very, very big it's taken up my whole screen now if I zoom in and click what I'll do I'll show you again there's a little rectangle it's called track motion click on that shrink it down a bit so you can actually see what I'm doing on the preview screen always have preview but have it on like preview auto or something you don't need it on best quality okay now if you shrink it down and then move it around a bit you have, and then click the circle you can rotate it to roughly where you want it if you zoom in you can then be a bit more finer with your movements and then use the arrow keys to adjust it a bit a bit like Photoshop so we shrink that down just a smidge a bit more there you go now that's something like it you don't need to be over the top let's just say easy as that now, if I shrink this down just to uh, reduce the sound so it doesn't flare out, so minus 30, okay. Now this may come through my speaker, so it may go through the mic, so I'll be a little bit quiet, but this should be how it looks. So as you can see there, it's coming through the mic because I'm doing it through my monitor, but there you go, nice and easy. You can actually see it there. You can add that in the actual um, video at the end. So people go, oh, let's click that and watch it. Okay. So hope that has helped you out. And nice, easy video. I know it may sound quite easy to some of you and maybe quite obvious. But if you're new to Sony Vegas and things like that, that does help you quite a bit. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more hints and tips videos, smack that like button and go over to the channel. I've got plenty more on there for you. And if you haven't already joined the Chaotic Crew, smack that little sub button down below. You're more than welcome to join up. You all take care now. Chaos out. And I went from two and a half hours to now just over one and a bit hours to render it. Now the second um, most important thing for increasing your rendering time uh, oh no sorry decreasing your rendering time 